This segment demonstrates how to assemble the chip and vac. Be aware that the unit is shipped without gasoline or oil. After assembly, refer to the separate engine manual for proper fuel and oil recommendations. To begin, tip the cart back to rest on its rear. Next, align the wheel support and secure it using eight 5 16 inch nylock nuts and 5 16 inch washers. Now, slide one quarter inch washer onto each rear latch stand bracket stud. Then align the latch stand bracket as shown and secure it using four quarter inch nylock nuts. Next, align the rear tongue and then slide the axle through the tongue and wheel support. Then lock the tongue to the latch stand bracket with the latch lock lever and ensure that it is securely latched. Next, slide a spacer tube onto the axle. Then slide on a one inch flat washer. Now, slide on a wheel with the valve stem facing out. Then slide on another one inch flat washer. Next, insert a cotter pin, then spread out the ends to secure it. Now pump grease into the fittings until it is forced out through the hub. Next, repeat for the other wheel. Then tip the cart forward onto its wheels. Now align the front tongue and secure it with four 3 8 by 1 and 1 quarter inch hex bolts, 3 8 inch lock washers, and 5 16 inch flat washers. Next, Insert the hitch pin and secure it with the hair cotter pin. Now loosely secure the engine base assembly to the tongue at the rear and center mounts using four 3 8 by 3 and 1 quarter inch hex bolts, eight 5 16 inch flat washers, and four 3 8 inch nylock knots. Then fully secure the front mounts using two 3 8 by 1 and 1 quarter inch hex bolts four 5 16 inch flat washers, and two 3 8 inch nylock nuts. Now go back and fully secure the rear and center mounts. Next, align the elbow and secure it using four 5 16 by 3 quarter inch self-tapping hex bolts with four nylon washers. Make sure to apply firm pressure while turning to help start the threads. To align the elbow with the hard top, push the vinyl boot back into the opening. Then, loosen all six bolts securing the engine base a half turn. Now slide the engine base to align the elbow with the opening in the hard top. Then, retighten the engine base. Now pull the vinyl boot onto the end of the elbow. Next, slide a hose clamp over the end of the hose. Then push the hose onto the adapter nozzle. Now secure the hose in place, taking care not to collapse the adapter. Then place the hose hanger rod into the bracket on the impeller housing. Next, loop the 25-inch tarp strap under the hose and hook the ends into the hanger rod. Now, tip the cart bed back. Then, align the chipper chute assembly. Next, secure it using three 5 16 inch flat washers and 5 16 inch nylock nuts.